Hello everyone, today I'm going to be going through my mug collection after two years of fully collecting it. And um, I'm going, I'm not going to talk about each series, maybe just leave um, some of my thoughts and opinions on them, if I've read them, but I'm not going to go into depth. Uh, so first up is the Dragon Ball Complete Box Set, this is volumes 1 to 16 of Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, I haven't read it yet. Uh, Chainsaw Man Volumes 1 to 9, this is up to date with the English release, there's only two more volumes until it's, well, this part of it's completely done. This is my second favourite series, it's really good. Uh, Mashal Volumes 1 to 2, I haven't read this yet, neither have I read Undead Unluck Volumes 1 to 2, or Kaiju Number 8 Volume 1. This one pisses me off though because it was printed in Italy, whilst the rest of them are printed in the US. It's just me being pedantic. Yep. Uh, volumes 1 to 3 of The Girl from the Other Side. This is really good. Below that is Comey Can't Communicate, Volumes 1 to 12. Spy X Family, Volumes 1 to 6. This is up to date. I haven't read this volume, but the rest of it's really good. This is also really good. It does get into a lull, but the anime is surprisingly really good for this. Uh, Back in Monogatari, Volumes 1 and 2. This is the manga, not the light novel. I just heard that the manga version of it's really good still. So, why not? Um, below that is Soul Eater Volumes 1 to 24. This is complete. This is one of my favourite series. I'm really hoping that Bones does the format Alchemist treatment where they redo the anime and uh, just give it the proper ending instead of an anime only one that they did with Brotherhood. I think that would be really good. Uh, next up is Fire Force Volumes 1 to 3. This is made by the same person that did Soul Eater. I haven't read it yet. But I can just tell from the character designs that, yeah, uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name. But he's really good at making character designs. Um, volume 1 of The Maid I recently hired. The Maid I hired recently is Mysterious. Yeah, this is the same price as a regular Yen Press volume. It's definitely not worth it because of how thick it is. I haven't read it yet. It's the only... Like, made thing I have. Probably won't get any more. I don't know. Then Your Name Volume 1, so I haven't read it. Below that is Full Metal Alchemist in the Full Metal Editions, Volumes 1 to well, one to 5. Yeah, Full Metal Alchemist is really good. And these are actually really nice editions of it. The only issue is they're glued, not sewn spines. Don't know why. Next up is Fist of the North Star, Volumes 1 to 3. This is really good. Uh, Ken Shiro here is just a one-liner machine. It's where the You're Already Dead meme comes from. I really highly recommend it. It's actually one of the most influential shonens, and without it, and Dragon Ball, and arguably even JoJo, from what I've heard. I don't know, though. Uh, we wouldn't have our shonen, like the shonen that we have today, like My Hero, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, it's all because of this. Uh, next up is Rin and Saga Volumes 1 to 5. Uh, this is really good. This, look, these four books here are just the prologue, and apparently it gets even better after that, so I'm really looking forward to it. The anime is done by the same people that did the first three seasons of Attack on Titan, so, I mean, if you want to read it, if you want to watch it, apparently it's really good. The animation is probably amazing. And up here we have volumes 1 to 15 of Demon Snow. Uh, the anime is significantly better than this. But, it's, it's alright. I, I do think it's a bit overrated though. It's definitely nowhere near the best form of my best thing ever. But it's still pretty good. Uh, then we have Shaman King Omnibus 1. And um, I haven't read it yet. But then that is My Hero Academia Volumes 1 to 29. Uh, this is one of the first series I actually started collecting. So it holds a special place in my heart for that. It's really good though. There's definitely some lol moments. Like, this, yeah, that entire arc is just boring to me. Season 5 of the anime, though, is a travesty. I'm, I'm dreading the war. But where it is at the moment is really good. I think it's going to end soon. Then it's just two random volumes of Kimono Jihen. It's really good. It's getting an English release by Seven Seas at some point, which I'm really looking forward to. Well, I got these because I read it online. And I'm... I just really enjoyed the series. Then is volumes 1 to 16 of Beastars. 
yeah, if you read this, then you're not a furry, unless you find the, uh, the, the, those scenes enjoyable. In, in this volume, on one of these volumes, they go to a BDSM club. That was uncomfortable to watch, I didn't read. And I'm dreading the blowjob scene from when it's animated in the anime. That's that's not that's not going to be that's not going to be nice. Uh, Children of the Whales Volume One. So I haven't read this yet. How's Paradise Volumes One to Four? I've only read the first volume. It's really good. There's an anime coming out for it very soon though, so it's probably going to blow up even more in popularity. It's made by the assistant of the person that worked on well, that did Chainsaw Man when they did Fire Punch. But there's another series that he's doing at the moment called Ayashimon, which is really good. Next that is Land of the Lustrious, Volumes 1 to 2. I might as well just nail down. Uh, I haven't read this yet. Just seems interesting. Ragnar Crimson, Volume 1. I haven't read this yet. Record of, Ragnarok, uh, Record of Ragnarok. I haven't read this. All I know is that it's gods fighting. At the gods, I think. Yep. Yeah. I've heard the anime's a travesty. So just read it instead of watching it. You're probably better off. Uh, Zone 100, Volumes 1 to 3. It's just a fun series. Persona 4, Volume 1. I haven't read this yet. I'm waiting to finish the game. <clears throat> Below this is Volumes 1 to 18 of One Punch Man. I've only read up to Volume 15 and it's really good. If you like superheroes or shonen, then I definitely recommend it. Just read it because the art's really good. Season 1 of the anime looks fantastic, but Season 2 looks like it's a massive downgrade in animation quality. So yeah, just read it because the art is genuinely fantastic. Next up is Mob Psycho 100 Volumes 1 and 2. This is drawn and written by the same person that wrote One Punch Man. I haven't read it yet though. Volumes 1 to 3 of Berserk. Apparently one of the best mangas ever made. I haven't read it though, so I can't comment. Omnibus 1 and 2 of Gantz. This is just trash with a lot of blood and gore and sex. It is just fun to read, but it's, it's bad. Definitely overrated. And below that is Attack on Titan Volumes 1 to 34. This is a genuine masterpiece and is one of my favorite. It's actually my favorite manga anime and thing written in general. It's just a really good series. Genuine masterpiece. Below that is uh, The Promised Neverland. Volumes 1 to 5 is just amazing. Like, there's no flaws in it at all. It's just godly. The rest of it is a massive downgrade. Especially the ending. I'd argue the ending of this is much worse than the ending of Attack on Titan, and that was abysmal. <clears throat> Next to that is volumes 3, 5, 11, and 12 of Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm reading this online. I have ordered a lot more volumes of it, though. But, uh, yeah, from what I've read, it is significantly and heavily overrated. Not bad, just not the best thing ever made. Next to that is... The first Viz Big of Vagabond. I haven't read this yet, but the art looks amazing. Going up here is the complete box of uh, Tokyo Ghoul and Death Note. Tokyo Ghoul and is amazing. Death Note is also amazing, but the first half of Death Note is significantly better than the second half. That's behind the Lego Sonic set. Below that is part one, which is, uh, JoJo's complete, part two complete, part three complete, part four complete, and part three, uh, part three, part five up to date. Jojo is amazing. Part 1 is definitely the worst. It is, it's not that good at all. The rest of it is great though. I cannot wait until Stillborn 1 is printed in English because that's my favourite part. It's so good. Stillborn 1 is. Especially Stillborn 1. Uh, below that is Volume 1 of Act Age. Less said about that the better. Volume 1 of Ajin. Haven't read it yet. Banana Fish Volumes 1, 2, and 3. I haven't read these yet. I just got them because the name's funny. Black Butler Volume 1. Blue Exorcist Volume 1. Dead Man Wonderland Volumes 1, and, uh, one 2, and 3. Yeah, uh, this is just edgy. High Q Volume 1. How Do We Relationship Volume 1. Volume 1 and 2 of Hunter x Hunter. Volume 2 of Immortal Hounds. I've been meaning to get the other five volumes. I just haven't gone around to it yet. Uh, Kaguya Summer Lovers War Volumes 1 and 2 My Status as an Assassin obviously exceeds The Heroes Volume 1 One Piece Volume 1 and 2 uh, Persona 5 Volume 1 and 2 Sailor Moon Volume 1 Sail for the End Volume 1, 2 and 3 This is just alright It's nothing special, nothing bad It's just alright 
Seven Deadly Sins Volume 1, Snow White the Red Hair Volume 1 and 2. The first volume was very slow, but I'm trying to expand my horizons into shoujo as well as shonen and seinen. Simply just so I have a full taste of what there is. But yeah, the first volume was alright, it's just very slow. Splatoon Volume 1, haven't read it, and neither have I read Pokemon, Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. Below that is Volume 1 of 20th Century Boys in the Perfect Edition. I haven't read this yet, I'm waiting until I get the rest of it to read it. But it's Naoki Osara, so it's probably really good. Because he wrote Monster Volumes 1 to 9. This is complete, and this is a genuine masterpiece. Like, there's nothing wrong with this at all. It's so good. I highly recommend it. Um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, this is just a like, two volume into one book thingy. Haven't read it yet, I got this before the rest of the stuff in my collection. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so and then, this is my only thing of Junji Ito. Yeah, that was, it was pretty good, there's nothing special about it, I don't think. No, that's actually a lie, that there is something special about it, I just need to reread it. I just thought it was really good. Not the best thing, which I know may be an unpopular opinion. Uh, volumes 1 to 3 of Death Note and the Black Editions. This is definitely the superior way to read Death Note. Because the pages are significantly bigger than the singles, and there's a lot of text in Death Note. And this volume 1 is actually the first manga that I got. So, yeah. And then below that is Blade of the Immortal in the Deluxe Edition, volume 1. I haven't read this yet. I really want to because I've heard it's really good. So uh, yeah. And then volumes 1 to 3 of Helsing in the Deluxe. I love Helsing. It seems like it's a series that you either love or hate. I, I'm i on the love side. It's about vampires fighting Nazi fa vampire zombie things. It's actually really fun. And uh, yeah, that's my entire collection. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, bye.